We're back. Yeah. Are we back? Yeah. All right. So, for those of you who were watching, we apologize. Don't know what happened with our Wi-Fi, but we lost our YouTube live and our Facebook live. But as of for now, we're back. So we're talking about the new seven foot nine Liberty popping blanks. Quick little recap. Um, a lot of guys have asked for seven foot nine because they're using these blanks for applications where they want long cast, right? A lot of times fishermen are using popping blanks in shallow water flats fishing applications where the water is clear, it's shallow, fish are spooky, you gotta make that long cast. Moderate fast actions help that plank load up and then unload with smaller light baits or even bigger baits that are just not baits you wanna throw off, right? Um, especially if you're dock fishing for snook or just power fishing for, um, for fish where you wanna make that finesse cast and then still have a lot of power. Our popping five and six powers do just that. They're very unique blanks. There's not many popping blanks that go that heavy in power. And the reason that we did that is because there are plenty of applications where you want that without a soft tip. You gotta have that moderate, fast, relatively softer tip that'll load, unload, and then still turn a big fish, right? Like I know for me, fishing bull reds near a structure, you know, jetties or pilings, um, same thing for snook. The first thing they do is they go to structure when you hook them and you've got to be able to turn them. But at the same time, sometimes I'm using light baits, smaller baits to get those bites from those finicky fish. And you got to have that softer tip to get that bait out there, let the bait work properly, and then have the power to turn the fish. These popping blanks do just that. Um, our two, three, and four power are extremely popular with sea trout, redfish, snook fishermen, um, bass fishermen throwing top waters, throwing flukes, throwing um, small senkos, even wacky guys, guys throwing wacky wigs on the uh, two power and the three power, uh, on the 764s and 763s, those have done very well with flat fishermen. They ask for a little bit longer blanks, now we're doing seven foot nine. If you're a kayak fisherman, these are for you. Um, or if you're building for a kayak fishermen, those of you who buy from us wholesale, 7.9 is an amazing length to help your angler swing that rod around the bow of the kayak, right? There's nothing worse than hooking a big fish in a kayak and being pinned to the gunnel and you try to swing your rod around the bow, your rod bent, right? So you lost some length there and you can't get around the bow. And the fish is meanwhile over here, but you hook them on this side, now he's under the boat, you can't fight them straight lines because your stuff going around the bow, you can't get there. That extra length of the 7.9 helps you get around that bow, okay? Big time, big time player there. Um, it also helps you make casts, right? From a kayak, you're fishing from a little bit lower position in the water. So that seven foot nine helps you get higher on that swing and get you a further distance when you're fishing. So this here is the five power. And guys, if you have questions while you're, while you're watching this, let me know if Felix can read them off to me. Um, this is the five power. So you can see it's still pretty soft tip, right? And it's that moderate, fast action. Guys, I love these things. Um, a nice, healthy tip size, but not giant. I think this is like a six and a half. And um, moderate, fast action, so I could throw, you know, a good size finger mullet with this. I could throw a little bit of weight with the bait, chunk it out to let it sit. Plenty of artificials will be great with this blank. But I've still got plenty of power. If you look in this butt section, because they're moderate fast, you can pull a lot on these blanks because you're gonna get into the meat of the blank. The strength of the blank is down here. When you're fighting a fish on a fast or extra fast blank, you gotta be really careful because a lot of people will pull on that blank and it's hard to get out of the tip section and really get into the power unless you really know what you're doing to get that rod low. So especially if you're building for customers, the last thing you want is a warranty issue, right? A break. So to get away from breaks, Go to a slightly more moderate or moderate fast blank and your customers will have a harder time breaking them um, and educate your customers as well it's always a good thing let them know hey here's a good spot here lift up to this point don't go higher than whatever you tell them right tell them fight their fish from a low angle and the power of the rod explain it come from down in here now on a popping blank they're not known for having a ton of power but that's why we've added or we've had it for a while now, our five and six power. You get that power in those blanks and you still keep the soft tip. I can't tell you how awesome these blanks are and how proud I am to be able to offer them. Made in the USA, I'm not talking like Mexico, New Mexico, continental, US, no games played, 
right here in the USA, and the price just can't be beat. So that's the five. That's right, that's the six power. That's the six power. So you can do a lot, you can throw bucktails with that, um, DOA mirror lures, all kinds of good stuff, turn big fish. So let's do this up. So let's go to the opposite end of the spectrum, okay? Here's a P762. So this blank has become real popular with bonefish guys on the flats, throwing real small, unweighted like shrimp or unweighted crabs, unweighted jigs, real light jigs. Um, for real finicky fish, using a light line, you've got to have a soft tip, a cast roll fly. Look at that. So that tip is just like butter. Um, you load that up with some high-end guides, very lightweight guides, titanium if you can, or go with like the LF, Alps, um, or some low-profile guides that are very light, and this thing is a feather, okay, and then we'll cast a mile. Put some light braid on here, and um, you can turn some big fish. Soft tip, throw those smaller baits, plenty of backbone, you see, we didn't chintz out and go with the real you know, skinny, lightweight stuff. Guys, you have a little bit of a diameter here, give you that hoop strength to give you power, okay? And same thing, moderate fast action, lets you get that bait way out there, but you have a lot of power that you get into when you start fighting the fish. So, right here we have three power. So we're walking up a step here from the two, okay? The three is probably our most popular sweet spot. Kind of that in the middle of kind of covers everything, right? It's a quarter to five eighths of an ounce lure weight, seven foot nine, uh, eight to 14 pound test. A little more power on the tip than the two power, um, and a little more backbone, but it's still got that moderate fast action. If you have to pick one blank to go red fishing with, chop fishing with, in most places, this three power is going to be it. This thing is legit. Very lightweight. Guys, we get a lot of questions too about our liquid smoke finish. That's what we call it. Um, I have to feel like I'm going to give you a closer look here. If you look at it, it's a raw graphite, but we've polished it. So you can see the grains of the graphite. It looks kind of smoky and um, kind of liquidy too. You can see some of the waves in it. So we went with a liquid smoke. That's not to you know, play games or, you know. Just kind of help explain it in a um, cool name too. But that's what that smoke looks like. So it's a raw graphite color, but you can see the fiber, so it's kind of smoky. Um, great palette. You can use any thread colors you want with it. It just it works with whatever colors you plan on wrapping with, including black. If you build one of these with all black wraps, it looks real clean. So throw in spoons, uh, maybe a shrimp with a split shot. Um, you know, a little bit bigger jig, not big, but bigger than what you throw on a two power, you know, maybe a quarter ounce or throw in something light with a smaller popping cork. This three power is your all around inshore, you know, flats, um, inshore saltwater, and also freshwater, throw in flukes, um, soft jerk baits, this thing is dynamite. Perfect. Here's the four power. So we're going up one step from the three. We went from the two to the three, and now we're going to the four. You can see a little bit more diameter in the butt, not much, still a relatively thin wall. So we keep that light, the weight down. Um, so you get the diameter to give your hoop strength, and still keep the wall thickness down. So there's two ways to add strength to a blank, right? You either add material or you add diameter to add hoop strength. We kind of found the perfect balance of both those on these to keep that butt diameter down, but um, also keep the weight down by not having too much material in it, if that makes sense. So four power, little more power in the tip than the three power. Um, those of you throwing um, popping corks with a decent sized jig or decent sized bait, or if you're throwing like a half ounce egg sinker with a bait, maybe a little bit less than half an ounce too, or a jig head with a bait or a jig head uh, with soft plastic on it, or throwing a bigger fish up against structure, you're getting that four power, right? You can really turn some big fish with this four power, keep that rod low and pull on 
that moderate action will load up very, very well, and you will turn a big fish. Rick Gustin on YouTube is asking if you can confirm if they are made in the USA. I think he may have missed that first part. Yes. And you said Rick, right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, Rick. Yes. So we came out with Liberty Blanks, gosh, six years ago now, maybe? Um, I have to look back and see, but they are 100% made here in the continental U.S. No games, not Mexico, New Mexico, or any of that stuff. They are made right here in the USA. Happy to say that. Um, took a lot of time to, uh, to figure that out, get the price of where we want it to be, but we are happy to say they are made right here in the USA. So that's the four power. Now the five power, one of my favorites. So the five and the six um, are some of my favorite planks out there simply because they really apply to some applications that are very, very hard to find blanks for elsewhere. Um, so if you're a freshwater guy, rattle traps, awesome blank for that, right? Rattle traps, you need some power to rip it out of the structure. If you're snagging weeds, ripping through hydrilla, or any kind of grass, you gotta have power. At the same time, you have to have a blank that will absorb when a big fish hits it, <clears throat> because that rattle trap has small hooks. You don't wanna rip the hooks out of his face. He's also got a lot of weight in his face. When a bass is shaking his head, he's got a half ounce rattle trap right here, trying to rip those hooks out. So your rod has to become the shock absorber, okay? A moderate fast action does just that. It gives so that fish can stay connected, not just pop those hooks out. Um, you can build it as a spinning rod or a bait caster, right? If you're throwing baits to inshore guys or inshore fish, um, you could even throw an unweighted finger mullet on this. If you had a decent sized finger mullet, um, you don't want to throw weight on it, but you want to throw it far, right here, moderate fast action all day long. Throw it up against the docks, the rocks, the jetties um, with that tip, and then next thing you know, you've got I mean, some serious power here in the butt. Um, just stop those fish, get them out of that structure. These blanks will handle a lot more than the line rating that is listed. Okay, I know a lot of people are using braid nowadays, myself included. Guys, I will fish this blank right here with up to 40 pound braid for abrasion resistance. Not that I'm gonna lock down 40 pound braid on this. I will on the six, six power, but on the five power, you can use 30 and 40 pound braid to help that abrasion resistance to keep that fish out of the rocks. Sometimes no matter what you hook them with, they're in the rocks already, right? Their face is right there, so you hook them and they turn and you gotta stop them quick. But maybe go up a notch in your leader or your line so that you can get a few swipes against the rocks before you turn the fish, right? So you can do that with these blanks and you're not gonna pop that line because that moderate action helps you stay connected. It just, I can't reiterate enough, too many people end up going with a fast, extra fast blank because it sounds cool, right? I wanna build the best blank out there. You know, I want a fast, extra fast action. Instead of slowing down and digesting, okay, well, what am I gonna use this rod for? I want my rod to do the right thing so I can fish the best. And in most cases, it's not a fast, or extra fast application. There's very few baits and techniques that really call for that and do well with that. And that's what makes a popping blank so universal and with our five different powers here, and gosh, I don't know what we have, 25 different, you know, between lengths and powers, there's probably 30 different popping blanks that we offer just within Liberty. Maybe not quite 30, but it's a lot. Um, so you can really dial in what you're doing. And if you have any questions, guys, call us, email us, Facebook us. We're happy to help dial you in. That's what got me in this business, which is because I didn't have um, finished rods that I wanted to use when I was fishing for, actually it was for gar of all things. So I found the kit, built the kit, and next thing you know, we're off to the races. So um, you can really dial in what you're looking for. Rick Gustin asks if uh, that will handle an umbrella rig. Umbrella rig. If you're gonna throw, that, the umbrella rigs come in all different sizes, right? So it depends on, we lose Facebook? We lost Facebook. We lost Facebook. All right, so let's get this five up again. Sorry, let's, uh, one second, Rick. Sorry. All right, so it's starting live. So let me know when that's up, I'll answer this question. It's up. Okay, guys, we're back here again. Sorry, we're losing signal for some reason. So yes, Rick, you can throw an umbrella rig with it. Now, 
The, the real question is what size umbrella rig, right? They come in all shapes and sizes now. He says he uses the, the lighter ones. So lighter is relative, but I would imagine lighter is light enough that yes, you could use it with a five, right? If you're throwing, let's see, this is rated half to one ounce, but you have a lot of resistance on an umbrella rig. You've got, you know, depending on how many baits are on your rig and how many blades are on your, you know, your rig, you can have a lot of drag. So half ounce rig, five baits on it. Okay, half ounce with five. I go with the six. Um, you know, that's still a, a good amount of load um, to be putting on a blank. I'd go with the six power. It will throw it just fine, and you have that extra power if you need it. Um, so, good question. Yeah, it'd be a great blank for an umbrella rig. Absolutely. We also have our reaction bait blanks that we're going to go over in our next live feed in the next day or two. That's a maybe even better for that. They've got a little bit bigger diameter, a little bit bigger wall, but um, you could definitely use a six power with an umbrella rig. And you can use a five power with a smaller one, but half ounce with five baits, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. So super stoked to bring you these five new lengths and five models, five powers. And they're available, guys, remember, all these blanks we just talked about, they're available down to, I think it's six, nine. Um, and they're available in three inch increments. So you can go from, I think it's six, nine, seven foot, seven, three, seven, six, now seven, nine, right? There's a lot of flexibility there. Made in the USA, awesome price point, and you can tell your customers Hey, this is American made blank and the price point is right there with the import. So there's really no reason not to. We've given up a lot of margin to offer them at a price that's very competitive. So appreciate you guys supporting Liberty. Guys, shop small. I know COVID has wrecked a lot of people, a lot of businesses. Do what you can. And I'm not saying for us. I'm saying for everyone around the world. Just do what you can to support your local businesses because it's crazy. You know, we kind of, I don't want to say breeze through this there's been some bumps and worries and whatnot but we've been very blessed to stay busy and uh, we can't thank you enough for your support it's been amazing right but we can't forget or take for granted because we know what else is going on out there we know a lot of people are home because they lost their jobs or they've been furloughed or whatever so we're praying for you we are with you and if you have the chance support somebody who may be struggling or help them out it just goes a long way anything else any questions no. No? All right, guys. Well, we'll leave it at that. Sorry for all the interruptions with the signal going in and out for the wire. That's not sure why it did that. Uh, Ryan's sitting here on the computer said he's kept signal. So, who knows? Technology is above my pay grade. But um, if you haven't yet, check out our net gators. Uh, these things are great. You've probably seen them in some of our videos that we've done. We have some more videos coming to you. But these things are awesome. Not just because of COVID, but the real reason these came out years ago, when um, I think Buff came out with them first that, I, that I'm aware of, was to keep the sun off your face, right? Just like that, my nose, ears, mouth, neck, all covered, put a hat on, now, just make it easier to talk. Sunscreen, you know, I don't have to deal with it much, as much of that nasty stuff, you know? And if it gets cloudy, I'm not like, oh man, why'd I put sunscreen on? Not a big deal. I take my neck gator off or just pull it down. And when I get hot or sun comes out again, done deal. I want to go to a restaurant, but don't want to wear a mask on my face. I just take one of these, right? Pop it in my... We're done. So I know it seems real simple. It seems goofy. A lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. But I love it. I don't like walking around with a looking like a doctor or a nurse because I'm not. But I am a fisherman, so I fit, you know, I feel at home with a net gator around my neck. I walk into a restaurant, pop it on or pop it off. So they're available in a lot of different colors. Um, we've got greens, blues, grays, black, um, just cool stuff. They're ma made here in the U.S., just like our t-shirts are printed here in the U.S., just like these Liberty Blanks. We do as much business as we can here in the U.S. Sometimes we pay more for it. And we have to, you know, buy higher minimums to get our price points as low as we can. But we do it because we believe in supporting the U.S. economy as much as we can. So, 
We appreciate, appreciate you guys supporting us and hope you do the same elsewhere as well. Any questions coming in there? Check out our hats. Go on our apparel page. We've got a lot of good hats in there. I think mean, like 12 different colors now. It's just awesome. We're trying to really build that brand. So we appreciate you by supporting it and then telling people about it, wearing it around, and let people know where you've got it. Okay, so if they're a rod builder or not, they can still get a cool hat and a cool net gator. And um, who knows, maybe they'll start building. So with that, we will close it up and hopefully see you live again tomorrow. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, call the shop. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. You call us anytime. Emails, we do our best, and Facebook messages as well. But if you need us, please call us. That way we can make sure we get taken care of. We good? Yep. All right, guys. Have a great night. God bless. We'll see you soon. Did we recover at all from losing people? Mm.